Hey, welcome to Ridge Kids Online. We hope that you enjoy this video. I'm John. Welcome to the joy of art. Today we're going to make a happy little creation out of these colorful building blocks. Aren't they just lovely? Beautiful colors that fit so nicely together. Now the key is to have fun. You just click them together. Ah, just like that. And then you continue on your happy little way. Oh. I think I know what to do with this one. Now you just keep building, and before you know it, you're all finished. And look at that. Just a happy little burger. <laughs> hey. Oh, good. You made lunch. It's kind of stale. Everybody, I'm Brandon. Hey, and I'm John, and this is the So and So Show. Yeah. Nice trophy, John. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. You. you have to do that right now. Uh, no, I don't have to, but it helps. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm okay. Just gonna leave that there. Uh, so today we're. <laughs> yeah, it helps me remember that I can win, but also what I'm good at, like like high school tennis tournament. You know, <laughs> you know where my talents really shine. I can. They give out trophies for fourth place. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, oh, oh, look at this, look, this, this puppy. Look at that, that's from College Drama Club. Happy, sad? 
Yeah. yeah. So, so you're saying that you can't remember what you're good at unless you look at old trophies? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm saying. Okay. And I need to know what it is I'm most talented at today. The talent show is not going to win itself. Oh, your neighborhood's annual talent show. That's tonight. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. And I am so good at so many things. I don't know what to choose from. Look, 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 look. I got, I got soccer. Soccer, uh, spelling, spelling bee, uh-huh. I've got, oh, uh, oh look, best hydrangeas. <laughs> Brandon, what do I do? I don't know, I, I always just stick with the same thing at talent shows. Mock, 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 A true classic. Thank you. But what am I going to do? I, I don't know. Just pick whatever feels inspiring or fun. I, it's inspiring? Yeah. Fun? Have you ever tried to win anything in your life, Brandon? <laughs> no, no, no. I need, uh... Uh, I need, um, ow! Uh, I need, I need, uh, oh, oh, hey! I need to call somebody! Yes! Who, who are you gonna call, like a, a life coach or a talent expert? Yes, Brandon, you are brilliant. Hello? Uh, yes, uh, Mrs. McUser. Actually, it's McHooser. Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> no, no, no need to apologize, John. That wastes people's time. Now, what seems to be the problem? Oh, uh, well, you, you see, I have this talent show tonight, and seeing as you are a talent expert, Hi, I... talent diagnostic specialist. Oh, well. Yes, not everyone knows what they're good at. It can be helpful for them to see me. Well, of course. <laughs> now, how tall are you? Five foot nine. Okay. Open your mouth and let me take a look. Sing ah for me. Ah. Uh, no, sing. Uh, Interesting. Uh huh. All right, you can close your mouth now. Now, I'm going to say a word and I want you to say the first word back to me that comes into your head. All right. Passion. Fruit. Fun. Soccer. Challenge. Thinking. Inspiring. Sunsets. Now, juggle. Oh, here. Okay. <clears throat> Touch your toes. Oh. Sing. Happy birthday to you. Foreign languages. Uh, uh, me amo Juan. Me gusta football. Hmm. Now. It seems to me you may be suffering from an unusual case of indistinct multi-talentitis. You have no clear talent. Don't get me wrong. You know, you're good at many different things, but no one thing stands out. But, but, uh, but, but, but what, do, what do I do? What do, what do I do for the talent show? Well, you just pick something. People with no talent enter talent shows all the time. I, I see. Well, uh, thanks for the call. That'll be $5,000. Gotta run. Um, maybe we should look through your uh, box of trophies again, huh? No! No, it's useless, Brandon. I'm, I'm a mess. I'm a talented but not talented enough pile of hopelessness. I'm, 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 I'm a cloud of confusion swirling around in the atmosphere, but it can't rain. Okay, how about... I'm a sandwich piled high with too many different ingredients that all taste amazing, but not one stands out more than the other, so you don't know what to name the sandwich. Okay. I'm a... Ah, it's Bible story time with Kellen. <laughs> Hey guys. Hey Kellen. Hi Kellen. Uh, you okay? <laughs> what is going uh, on? John is in a talent show tonight. Oh, that's fun. 
Yeah, I think so too, but he's feeling a little confused and unsure as to what he's really good at, so. Ah, it hurts, Kellen. It hurts so bad. Okay, well, it is natural to want to know what you're good at, but I think today's story is going to help. Shall we? Please. Today's Bible verse is Ephesians 2.10. It's just one verse, but it's packed with so much good stuff. The Apostle Paul wrote in his letter to the Ephesians, We are God's creation. He created us to belong to Christ Jesus. Now we can do good works. Long ago, God prepared these works for us to do. This is good news. In the very beginning, people were created in God's image, and God created us with a purpose. Now, that purpose is to do good works that God had planned for us to do. Good works? Yeah, that just means doing good in the world or loving other people. Jesus helped demonstrate that when he was here. It's God's purpose for our lives, and God gave us all unique ways we can accomplish our purpose. Oh, like with talents? Don't worry. I've got a few friends with me today to help show us what Paul meant. Everybody, this is Victoria. Hello. Can you tell everyone what your favorite thing to do is? Of course. I love dancing and reading and cooking and all kinds of things, really. But I really love dancing. I feel like it's what I was made to do. That's amazing. Why do you feel like this is what you were made to do? Well, whenever I dance, it brings me so much joy. And I love the joy dance can bring to others, too. That's Awesome! That is one way you can use your talent and creativity to do good work by bringing joy to other people. Oh, do you mind showing us some of your favorite dance moves? Of course. Wasn't she awesome? Up next, we get to meet my friend Taylor, who is an incredible musician. Hey, Taylor. Hi. Now, I know we're all dying to see you in action. Can you give us a sample of your music? Definitely. That's amazing. Have you found any other ways to use your musical talents to help other people? Yeah, one of my friends likes to make videos, and last week she asked me to add music to it. So I did. It was so much fun. Plus, I got to help a friend. Nice! That's a great example of good works God created you to do. Way to go! Thanks! Do you know anyone who needs music for their videos? Um, sure. Why don't you transition us to our next guest? Hey, Kellen. Hey! Everybody, this is Harold. He's basically a genius. Not sure about that, but thanks. Tell us about yourself. I'm a junior in high school, I love spending time with my family, and I'm on the math league team. I really like numbers. So cool. I have to know, what's it like being a math league? We go to competitions and compete by completing complicated math equations. We're doing pretty good this year. I hope we make it to the state championship. That would be amazing. Now, in our Bible story today, Paul wrote that we're all God's creation and that we can do good works. Have you found good works you can do with numbers? Yeah, I think so. I tutor kids who are younger than me who have a hard time with math. That's a huge deal. Thanks. I also really like teaching the students I tutor how to use numbers in daily life, like how to save money for something they want to buy or ways it can help them get a job, things like that. Like I said, Genius! You are using the way God made you to help other people and make a difference. Now, just for fun, can we see just how good you are with these numbers? Sure. What do you have in mind? Oh, I don't know. 4 times 7 is? 28. 14 times 6? 84. 72 minus 11 plus 6 
minus 8. 59. 13 times the square root of 64. 104. Whoa, you are so good. <laughs> Thanks, Kellen. Thank you. See, everyone is different, but we are all created by God and can do good things that bless other people. How about it, fellas? I love it. Was this helpful for your talent show problem? Yeah, I'm, I never thought of being good at math and numbers as a talent before, but I, I'm great at that. I could probably help people budget their money wisely or, or solve complicated math problems. Yeah, and you know what else you could use that talent for? I think I found my talent for the show tonight. That's great. Thanks, Kellen. Yeah, see you, Kellen. I love how the people Kellen talked to found ways to use their talents for other people and not just for themselves. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, really special. And, and it's nice that we don't just all have to do the same kinds of good works. Mm -hmm. We can each do the unique things that God created us to do. Yeah. And I think for now, God created me to do this. Reveal the question. Oh, well. What are you good at? Well, there's pretty much a million possibilities and everyone's good at something. Yeah, maybe it's art mm -hmm. or a certain sport or a favorite subject in school. Yeah, or maybe you're really good at listening and being there for your friends. Yeah, or making people laugh. Yeah, God is so big and made us good at so many different things. Just talk it out. And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Yes, we will. Yeah. Math. Thank you for that, buddy. Bok, 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 bok. Bok! You should try that. I, I, only you can do that. That's true. All right, what do you got for me? 14 minus 7. Oh, 7. Okay, 12 plus 84. 96. Poo 17 times 3. 51. All right, try this. 42 divided by 2 plus 8. 29. The <gasps> square root of 81 times the square root of 64. 72. 14 divided by 7 times 11 minus the square root of 16 times 12. Oh. I can juggle. Yeah. Yeah. That works. Oh, okay. Let's try it again. The answer is... I can juggle. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this video. Now, parents, if you would like to kind of talk about this a little bit more with your kids, please head over to our website. There is more resources, devotionals, and a discussion guide. And if it's your first time visiting, don't forget to click and subscribe so that you can get updates when new videos are added. That's it. We hope you have a great week.